we've taken the one of the six C's, the creativity um, aspect of the deep learning, and really that was our focus for today, um, our SCI Day, um, Stainer Creativity and Innovation Day. Uh, we wanted to focus on the creativity side of things in order to get students thinking out of the box. We want them to take risks and try something they've never tried before. And so now I want to, I think our next step has to be asking the question, so where do we take this? What's our next step and where can we take this focus um, for the creativity and how can we harness that in order to be able to uh, move to the next level in terms of um, students directing their own learning. Students will walk out of Stainer Collegiate with um, the skills and the ability to start asking the critical questions about what they're learning and to be able to um, take that attitude towards learning with them into whatever their post-secondary destination of choice is. I can see it actually in every single subject area in the building and it wouldn't matter to me whether it was a phys ed class or a dance class or a family studies class because the opportunity is there for students to be directing their learning and to be able to ask those inquiry questions. It's just going more in depth and not just getting to the, getting the bare bones answers but really understanding the root of the question. It gives me the ability to go more in depth. It gives me the ability to analyze things in a more logical perspective. And I feel that that's a very important trait to have going into the future. Students are embracing it and staff are embracing it and, and it's just, it's fun to do different things and, you know, learn something new. In the session I was, involved with this morning that interaction was as a learner not a leader um, my students had actually taught an activity to my class and in this morning's session deep learning is is fun is fun and it's really cool to learn new stuff every day deep learning is um, better than just textbook work and writing questions and answers. It's a deeper understanding that, ah, now I get it sort of thing, and being able to relate uh, one thing to another. So it could be something you learned in science class to something you learned in math class, or something that you've been able to apply to technology. I think it's important to send our kids off to university or post-secondary education with that understanding that they can get to those deeper learning opportunities um, and not be afraid to go there and not just be satisfied with the right answer and carrying on to the next question. So to understand that there's more out there to be found. Because a lot of people that I find tend to get bored of just regurgitating information and with deep learning it's more of it's more in depth. It's you actually learn something. It creates a new level of learning, a new level of thinking. What real world experiences can I use it in? Because it's one thing to know stuff, it's one thing to understand something, but it's a whole nother thing to apply that to a real world situation. 